version 4.5 for Genshin Impact is finally here and I have been standing at this spot very nervously for quite a while. Not only do we have a Chiori banner and an Ito banner running at the same time with a pretty good weapon banner for this account, but also the Chronicled Wish with an Albedo that's only available for 20 days, so essentially the first half of this patch. The odds of us getting three different Geo 5 stars within one half of a patch are not good. On the bright side, these banners do have rate up four stars for both Goro and Yunjin, so I can't wait to get C26 Dory. And here, I thought we had it bad when spells only had two different Catalyst characters running at the same time. In terms of who is the best for me to start pulling for first, in all honesty, I think it would be Albedo just because we're probably going to need him for something coming up in the Leeway Archon quest. Obviously, Ito is a very good damage dealer, so we would love to have him on the account. And then Shiori is a brand new character, not only to the account, but also to the game. So I'm sure there are a lot of people that want to see me pull for her. And actually... I think I just had an idea. There's going to be a lot of people arguing of which of these I should have pulled for first. So how about I just alternate 124 wishes at our disposal with zero pity. Ito, do you want to come home on this account? Maybe not, but perhaps Goro and Yunjin do. Come on, come on, show me Geo. Show me. No, 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 no crappy weapons, please. Please, Goro and Yunjin. Okay, we're not going to... Okay, this is a great start. Fantastic start. You know what? I, I, I know what to do now. Ito doesn't want to come home, but I bet you Chiori does. Not either. Oh, wow. Who would have thought? Dory. Hmm. Oh, I, I don't want to keep pulling, to be honest. I would rather just save my Primo Gems because this is showing me exactly how this is going to go. Okay, we're leaving, we're leaving this place. We need to go somewhere that Dory cannot find us. Think about it, okay? Dory is an Electro character and the obvious enemy of Electro characters would be something that is grounded. So how about we just come and stand on the seal underneath the chasm if it, if it lets me, which it does. This is actually a really nice place too. I feel very Geo here because literally everywhere you look is just rock. Nah, I feel good about this place. I actually feel very good about this place. And we're seeing purple, which is expected, but it still hurts every time. But now Dory... Oh, come on. I don't want that. Dory should be gone, though. If I somehow do 124 pulls without getting a single Goro or Yunjin, I quit Genshin Impact. Okay, we're not quitting Genshin Impact. That's right. That's what you, you gotta threaten the game. Otherwise, it doesn't listen. You know what? I'm ending this series if this 10 pull isn't gold. So take that, Hoyoverse. Uh-oh. Okay, that, that one was a joke. That one was a joke. But it would be nice if we could maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe see like a Geo character. Geo four star, like a Goro, like this one. Perfect. All right, add that to the counter. We are C1 Yunjin, C0 Goro. And uh, great, great news. We only have 80 pulls left. Oh, I don't want to click the button. Come on, early gold. Early gold, early gold, early, please. Another Yunjin, so that's C2. I mean, I would happily take a C6 Yunjin, but you know what I would even more happily take is this Chiori. Oh my gosh, it's not time yet. Oh crap, she found us. Uh, no, we gotta move again. And that sucks because I really like this place. Okay, guys, guys, I said we had to move. So now Dory's gonna think that I moved, but I'm actually gonna stay right here. She would not expect this. But you know who would expect this? Ito, because he's devious. Here comes Ito. No, okay. Look, look. Oh no, I know exactly what's gonna happen. I was about to joke. Okay, that's good though. I was about to joke around and say that maybe when we get the five star, we'll actually get a double five star. Star, but I just remembered we don't even have guaranteed 50 50. Oh, oh, that's no, that's so good. I'm so, I'm so happy that I remembered that. We do see gold. I think it's slightly early, maybe. Look, 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 how you verse. I'm, I'm not asking. I'm begging. Please, please let us win these 50 50s. I don't, I physically do not have the primos for in, in mental the fortitude and the, anything for us to be losing these. Okay. Hey, Goro, that's C3, that it, or two, C3, I, I don't know. Come on. Yes. Okay. That's one. We can do this. We, there, there's hope. There. Okay, she's smarter than I thought. But I mean, like, I know the Dory is like just trash for us, but that's not a bad 10 pull. Game, game, thank you. Okay, I'm thanking you. I'm being, I'm, I'm grateful. We still can do some more pulls. Imagine, oh, like, I, I don't want to be like greedy, but I have to be greedy here. Imagine the back to back gold. No, okay, we're gonna, no, I'm not gonna greed. I'm not gonna greed. We're just gonna, just anything, anything geo good. Favonis, you know, maybe, oh, Ooh, I could put Vavonius on Noel, maybe. And then when we get the Ito, I can put the white 
not white blind. Is it white blind? It might be white blind. Whatever the defense attack scaling greatsword is that Noel is currently using. That's what we could do. That's what they're trying to show me. And now that I got that, now that I downloaded their message into my mind, maybe they'll be nice. Should I now start going between these two? I feel like I shouldn't. I feel like I should just invest into one. Maybe. maybe? Let's also just uh, lock in Albedo. Yes, please. Alternating sounds fun for content, but for the sake of actually trying to get one of these characters, I don't think we should. I'm just going to keep pulling on Ito's banner, especially because the four star here, the four, four stars here are really good. The stress is getting to me. I, okay, we got to go somewhere. This, this is not. Oh, maybe we don't need to go somewhere. I will happily take an off banner, Noel. Also, let's do this really quick. We come in here. We, uh, we could just make a new party. New party. We put Nabi on there. We put, where's the Goro? We put the Goro and we, I'm not adding them. We put the Nabi. We put you and you and this actually to be fair it'd probably be better to do something like that if we want uh what's his face ito i knew that ito and goro go so well together come on come on mr ito okay next one next one next one i have some very small amount of confidence for co confluence okay maybe i don't what's the purple oh no why? why 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 okay dory just just for you i'm leaving this place i'm going all the way over here okay quick before she realizes that i'm lying ito come on ito big money our attack okay um <clears throat> I hate everything. We do have this. Unfortunately, this doesn't reset for 19 days and five hours, which would actually be before the end of this banner. Game, you could do it. Game could not do it. So no Ito right now. Obviously, why? What did I do to deserve this? Oh, look, C6 Dory, yippee. We had such higher odds of getting more constellations for Goro and Yunjin, yet we got more Dory. Why am I not surprised? Okay, so C2 Yunjin and C2 Goro, as well as C1 Noel. That's pretty good. We did get one of the five stars, which like, I'm happy about that. Don't get me wrong. But I just feel like I can't relax until, this kind of looks like a weird texture. I can't relax until we actually bring home Ito and hopefully Albedo. Now I should probably go do the test run to actually learn what this character does. Except I say that and then I immediately just spam through both of their trials. So I took some time to read through all the talent and the scalings and all that stuff. In terms of weapons for Chiori, we do not have much. Traveler's Handy Sword does do defense and attack. Technically, it's just a terrible substat, but it does kind of match her. And then Goro, what can we do for you? What, uh, oh, we have Sakura. Oh, well, we have Favonius. Oh, you are so favonius all over the place. I think Chiori is going to end up with a Harbinger of Dawn, though. I do feel bad for Chiori for uh, multiple reasons, but mostly because I want to be super ecstatic that we do have a new five-star Geo character on the account. Well, like I mentioned earlier, the whole, you know, uh, the three different five-star Geo characters at the same time ordeal is kind of taking away from that excitement. But you know what? Actually, no, I will not let that take away from this. I am going to enjoy this character because there's a good chance we don't even get anyone else. So Chiori, today is dedicated just to you and somehow I actually have enough of all this to send you three times. Now, do I possess the capability to get some of these? We have a decent number of artifacts. I obviously want to keep everything that could even be remotely usable on this account. But on the bright side, any artifacts that are like cryo damaged are just garbage. Let's see what we can cook up. I don't expect anything insane, but obviously a new defense. That's good. Another defense. This is the one account where I'm not mad about that. And this is also the artifact set where I'm not mad about that. Let's run it again and see what we get. This batch is... That's, that's not terrible. Overall, I'd say the first batch was a little bit better. Batch number three. If we saw a geo damage bonus here, that would have just been so nice. Okay, now that could be pretty good. I was very generous with the artifacts that I kept, but on this account, I feel like that's a good thing. Since I probably don't have too much fodder. Okay, we have like no fodder. Uh, this is going to be a very short leveling session, but I figured I would just try to level this one up first since it looked to be the most exciting. Obviously, that excitement comes from the potential for double crit. And I'm... Not gonna find out if I can get double crit. Okay, well, ideally, I would put that on her. I do not own Geo Damage, so we could skip that for now. This Sans has defense percent with crit rate and attack, which, you know, that's fine, and it could roll crit damage. For the Feather, this one would be really good if it also rolled crit damage. The others already have 
through well except for this one that have four stats already so i'm going to put this one on for now until we can power that up and i think out of our options for flowers this one's the best that means for the goblet we could just throw on anything that is geo damage which i do have one just laying around actually i have a better one laying around on this set so we'll do that instead and until i farm some more artifacts i can't power those up though to be honest i wasn't planning on going out to farm artifacts today also look at this look at this on streams i have been trying to collect the stuff that i knew we were gonna need which is why we're actually able to level these characters up a little bit oh what ah well, I guess I didn't farm as much as I thought I did. Between that and the weapons that I'm going to have to level, there is now a lot that we need to do on this account. Also, I should probably target this because it's the only thing left. And a 150 primos would be kind of nice to get. As for Goro's artifacts, we could probably do this pretty quickly. All we care about is defense and ER, and that is exactly what that gives. We do want a little bit of crit as well for the Favonius Warbo. So that feather will do. Sands, we definitely want defense. Goblet, I could just go defense as well. And to no one's surprise, we'll be going defense for the circlet too. If those were all powered up, it'd be a pretty okay build. Well, okay for this account. Oh, speaking of artifacts, I did do just a tiny bit more farming in the artifact domain for Navia. And a look at what we got. Obviously, attack percent would be better than the elemental mastery on there, but that is a very good piece. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that thing just did 810 damage. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on a second. Let me put that down and then let me use this. And I just, I just want to see. Uh-huh. Huge damage. I mean, she's not built, so I really can't complain about that. Although I did see that if we do normal attacks, we get a whole five seconds of infusion. And I'm not going to lie. Every single time I do her burst, I think it's glitching for a second. Also, why is it nighttime? Excuse me. We are trying to record a video here. Son, can you cooperate? Every chest I find, I now have to open because we are back to the grind for primos. You know what also would give me primo gems? If I was able to complete Klee's quest. And this is the part where you all say, but Java, you tried to do that and you can't. Are you going to cheat again? No. No, I'm not. At least not right now. Or you see, in live streams, some people have, in, well, one person, informed me of a way that we might be able to do this without cheating. They claim that it will indeed work. However, uh, these hillichurls are not spawned here because there is a nearby daily commission. I'm going to hope beyond hope that they're not spawned because of the daily commission. Because now I'm very much afraid that since this is technically a quest area, the hillichurls that normally spawn here might not spawn here. Also, also look at this. Look at... Oh, we have some form of mobility. Please show me hill a churl. Please show me hill a churl. Um, not seeing hill a churls. Okay, what if I like log out of the game and log back in? Maybe that'll reset them if they're even going to spawn. <gasps> it actually worked. Logging out and logging back in did solve the issue. All right, so first and foremost... I'm gonna just skedaddle over here. Get rid of you. We don't need you here. Now, this guy. This guy's gonna go on a little journey with us. We're gonna keep pushing you back this way. At least it's not like the archer where you have to actually push them. He seems... No, 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 no. Don't go that way. Don't, 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 don't do that. Oh, no. I think he's far enough now where I do have to try and push him. Can they, like, put a dummy sword in the game that when you hit an enemy, it doesn't actually deal damage? Because that would be very helpful right now so I could push this guy where I need him to go. I mean, there's, like, a million other things I'd rather have than that but just in the moment that'd be really nice if we can get you through this doorway that's kind of like a checkpoint because it's gonna be harder for you to run out of the doorway okay here comes the the, the chargey thing again come on in yes Ooh, ooh, perfect that little chargey does is actually pretty helpful here comes the charge this way please Ooh, very nice i think i like I, i'm kind of guessing that this is what i need to do because the person in twitch chat did explain and i mean i i verified that this is exactly what they did but i don't recall what they did to get the hillichurl down to where it needs to be i'm assuming i just smack it over the edge which i will be leaving up to chiori because i don't actually want to kill this guy come on do the dash do the dash double dash dash yes okay this way. I don't want to get too far from you. Ooh, ooh, that's a good one. I am so scared that the second I leave this thing's, like, vicinity, it's just going to respawn, get away from me, slime. Also, we are about to die from uh, a fire. So let's maybe not die. We have him almost exactly where he needs to be. Slime, leave me alone. Can he just run off the ledge by himself? Oh, okay, here we are. Here we are. Uh, almost. And uh, I'm just going to do this. 
Okay. And then we get down here. He didn't die. He's still aggroed on us, which is good. We need him to do a chargey chargey. Charge at me. Run towards me. Run. That's not running. Run. Run, Hillichurl. Run. Yes. Okay. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Smart Twitch chatter. Intelligent Twitch chatter. You know what the worst part is? Is I don't remember their name. Like, I looked at their name to try and remember it in case this worked so I could thank them. And um, I, I don't remember their name. If I saw their name again, I would definitely recognize it. I, I think. I suppose the real question is... Once I do finish this domain, are we going to be locked out of co-op through another quest? Oh, oh, look at this. Look at the Chiori spotlight right here. We go up zoomy zoom. We... How did I do that? Wait, 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 wait. I did read her skill. So, like, I, I understand and I understand what just happened. But I did not expect that... What? Why is that thing green underwater? I did not expect... That in mid-air, you could swap to a different character. I wonder if there's, like, any practical use for me outside of combat for using that. Because, I, I mean, I don't know what there would be, but that's pretty cool. Oh, and also, I could just glide over all this. I don't even have to care. It's always kind of funny to go back and do old domains with newer characters. Because, obviously, these characters were not in the developers' minds when they put these places together. And I know I probably could be cheesing my way through this with Geo, Lumine, and now Chiori. And the reason I'm not doing that is because there are some chests in here, and I actually already forget if they gave Primos. But this account can use whatever reason Sources it can get. Oh no. Oh, oh no. The following quest needs to be completed before entering another player's world into the woods. Oh, yo, verse. Why do you do this? And I don't know if any of you were going to say it, but just in case you were, let me uh, stop you right here. The Hillichurl trick that we just used on that torch did not work on the pop back in the gorge when we had to light that thing up. I had already tried that a long time ago on a different account. So Klee's story thing, I think, is done. But now we need to go into the woods, except I should probably do my dailies first. That and also my resin has been capped this whole time, so I need to go spend that. Oh. Wait, no, I I don't have to do my dailies. Also, am I crazy? Didn't they say that they were going to be adding a new, like, highest graphic mode? I swore that that was said, like, an update or two ago. I don't see any difference. But I've been saving our acquaint fates until we could do a 10 pull, which we now can. And we could also do another pull here. Ooh. Ooh, but that's going to be disappointing. So I'm going to do a pull over here. We see purple. Now... Honestly, here, I would like weapons. Any four-star weapon that would be good on any of our characters. Um, Favonius Sword. That's not terrible. I would say that we could use it on someone like Chiori, but, I mean, ER for her on a team where we were all Geo. And with only a 50 energy cost, I don't think ER is our biggest priority here. To be fair, there are not that many weapons that are actually good for her. You know, it would be nice as a Cinnabar Spindle, but <laughs> that was like in what, 2.3, 2.4? If they want to rerun that thing, I'd be more than happy to get it. Two wishes for Ito. Show us at least purple. Look, I'm not even asking for the gold at this point, right? Just, just purple would be nice. And that's why we're not going to get it. There are so many things I need to spend my resin on that I don't even know what I should should or want to spend it on right now how about since we said this is like chiori episode i guess right we go spend it on the boss although really quick when are your talents open uh not today all right well farm that tomorrow that makes it very easy for me we'll just go ahead and beat up this boss a couple times maybe bringing two unbuilt characters to a boss fight was not a good idea especially when navia started out at very low hp but it's fine this is how chiori proves herself look at this damage look at this massive oh we didn't crit but we still won and that is good enough for me wait when this quest was called into the woods i thought that that was like meeting jean ling actually i think that one's called a chance encounter don't ask me why i remember that i am terrified by the fact that there's something in sumaru locking me at a co-op oh no no you're joking guys you will never believe it recently the thing that's been locking us at a co-op is igniting something with pyro and wouldn't you know what this quest wants me to do ignite something with pyro you know jory's expression here really fits how i feel inside oh wait Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this deep? This is kind of deep water. Um, I can't get the Hillichurl across that. There's one of the Pyro Torch Hillichurls right there. If I can somehow get that guy over here and do the same thing that I just did, it could work, but there's kind of just this little puddle in our way. Is there anywhere that we could just walk? Oh, oh it, it gets a little deep right here, but there's a chance that this could work. Can you follow me this way? Let's see what happens. Don't drown. Don't drown. Ooh. Oh, oh, 
Oh, this could be huge. This could get away from the bloom, please. I need you to also relight your torch. No, stop. Whoever's blooming, stop it. This poor guy's burning. Sir, can you relight your torch? Oh, this this burning is oh my. Ooh, that stupid samatrol, wherever they are. I'm not, I don't, I don't like them. Okay, this burning is actually terrible. Oh my gosh, stop. Oh, I can't even eat food fast enough. Oh, yes. Okay, he really lit the torch. Samatrol's running away. This, uh-oh. Wait, wait, the, where are you? I mean, this is where I want you to go, but like, why are you, where are you going? Oh, wait, wait, where is the little guy going? He's on a mission. Oh, he's gone. Well, now I know exactly what has to happen. Hey, Sam and Charlie, get away. You should just follow me across very easily. There. Why must you make this difficult? Yes, 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 yes. Over here. Very nice. Very perfect. Let's begin this again. This time with less bloom. I would like to have one large serving of pyro helitro with a torch, but hold the bloom. So you should start doing your charges again since you lit that torch back up. Okay, charge. This way. Don't go into the water, please. And thank you. Oh, you're so close. I really hope this works because there's no grass under this, so it might not. Okay, charge. Come on, please. Please. Oh, it's not looking good. Another charge. Come on, this time for sure. This time. Where are you going? I have a feeling that the lack of grass is going to make this not possible. Okay, charging. Uh-huh. Ah, uh, yeah. This doesn't look like it's gonna work which means even after all that we're still locked at a co-op why does lighting up a simple campfire lock you out of playing with other people i have no idea go on run back to your home that i don't i don't know why you try to go that way if we could have gotten into co-op i was gonna say that we could join other people's worlds and gather the materials we need to ascend these characters but as we can clearly see that is not gonna be the case since we are in the market for primos though we'll try to progress a little bit through the geo archon quest though i'm pretty sure we're gonna get stuck again very shortly but then i can at least show you guys why i think albedo might be the only solution which then makes it even stupider that i am not pulling for him yet you know what's crazy about this part of the quest Oh no. Well, I, I was gonna say that they tell you to go fetch water and you don't actually need a hydro character for it, which is like, is really, really good. Um, I'm very nervous now though, because I accidentally just extinguished the flame for the stove. Oh, okay. We're fine. I just know in the kitchen at Wang Shu Inn, there's a certain quest where you have to light up the stove before you can use it. And if I have to do that here, I'm in big trouble. But thankfully... We don't have to do that. I'm also hoping that by doing all this, we're able to unlock the quest to get the teapot. Because ideally, I would like to start completing that stuff now so we can get a bunch of free resources and not just put it off and never end up doing it like the other accounts. We are rapidly approaching the point where we're probably going to get stuck. I'm hoping it's in the next act of the Archon quest. That way, I can at least get the one free intertwined from the book. If I'm not mistaken, this act does end after this there we go so now all because ganyu forgot to tell us how to get up to the j chamber we're going to suffer on the bright side we do get one intertwined fate and you know what i'm feeling kind of lucky right now no i'm not i take it back i didn't say that where am i going what am i doing how do i already forget what i'm supposed to do oh oh uh, yeah yeah here we go allow me to introduce to you the roadblock uh right after i get a couple of these chests because primos and now i kind of want to test how far does this skill bring us? Can we get all the way up to that thing? Not quite. It is a decent little boost to verticality, but this we could definitely get. Oh, and I... How does that happen? Dang, that skill put us so far in the sky, we actually ended up on top of the mountain. Oh, and it teleported me up here. Perfect. This is where I was going to have to come anyways. So uh, here's the deal. Animal pinwheel, my uh, great great friend love these things we very obviously cannot activate this thing and no before i know someone's gonna say it this does not activate it i really wish that i had made a portable waypoint because i'm gonna have to keep climbing up here over and over but allow me to show you what i have been thinking i tested this as much as i could on swords only because on that account we have albedo and a geolumine this is very very annoying to climb very annoying to climb but if we can actually manage to get to the highest branch in this tree we would then put down albedo's flower go to the apex that the flower brings us then use that little gadget that i just used why is this not working but if we do all of that and then try and glide over our head scrapes the bottom of the thing that we need to land on so i'm going to 
try and see if maybe, just maybe, I mean, this isn't going to work because I can't use both her skill and the boosty windy thing. And I have a feeling the windy thing's going to put us further. But let's just do this. Let's just... Let's do like that and then glide and see. We are not going to make it. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. Please count. Please count. You can do it. You. We're in trouble. It seems like you do, in fact, have to be on top of the platform. Let's try it again. This time putting this as absolutely high up as possible, which it seems like. Oh, well, it's not there. Seems like it is right here. I don't know if this is better or if the other thing's better. This is definitely not better, I don't think. Let's go like that and then glide. If there was a food that made you glide faster or if we had the gadget from Inazuma Reputation that made you glide faster, we could definitely do this. But we don't get that until we do Inazuma Art. <gasps> I take it back. That was enough. I cannot believe we actually just did that. Chiori was enough to do this. That's insane. It's sad, but I think I'm more excited now than I was when I got a five star earlier in the video. Chiori, if nothing else, you solved this problem for us. And can I just say she does not look satisfied? If we pull on this banner, we pretty much guarantee that we have to get a five star twice. There's ain't no way we're going to get lucky enough to get Albedo on the first try. Look, I, I really do want Albedo on this account. Of course, he'd be better with Cinnabar spender which we can't really get but i still want him on the account however if we can at least secure ito it's gonna be like six more years until albedo comes back i know but that would still be th th that'd be good because albedo was the character i thought we desperately needed to potentially do what we just did however chiori was enough and that genuinely makes me very happy so i think we can actually complete all of the geo archon quests now wait a second do you guys <laughs> Do you smell that? I smell a commenter going down to the comments to say that I should have put Golden Troop on Chiori instead of Husk of Opulent Dreams. So you know what? Just for that one person, I will go ahead and do that. Overall, the set bonuses are kind of comparable in terms of damage, but a lot of these Golden Troop pieces are already leveled up at least a little bit, which helps. Also, we do have this really nice defense sand with double crit and ER. I just figure you'd... Oh, well, this, this is rolling pretty nice. I am very excited to see how that rolls. But yeah, we need needed some husk anyways on this account and we're still going to need more in the future but for the time being we can definitely put chiori onto the golden troop set and also yes i know that i already have a harbinger of dawn leveled up all the way but currently that's on the traveler and i don't really want to take away their weapon if i just keep taking the things on other characters to put them on new characters then we're going to end up in the same position that spells and swords only ended up in so without having all of the artifacts max leveled and with a lot of levels still to go on chiori we could see that the build is not that bad oh ooh, ooh, oh also, I'm guessing I got this from the Geo Archon Quest stuff that we did, but we do have C5 for the Traveler, and now some of you had said not to unlock C6 because it kind of nerfs the damage of the elemental skill. It'll be a to be determined as to whether I actually do that because the burst is nice and I hate using the skill anyways, but it could be better to not do it. And the other thing that we can do is one more wish on Ito's banner. And it's blue, but now because some time has passed, I should be able to see exactly what pity we're on. Also, the next pull will in fact be a four star. We are at 50. 59 pity. No complaints there. But you know what I am going to complain about? This. The philosophies of light. Okay, like the domain is kind of annoying, whatever. That's not really that big of a deal. Jiori, brand new character on the account. She needs philosophies of light. If we take a look. Oh, what is what is Goro need? You know, he's new on the account. Oh, the same thing. This domain will be my prison for a little while. And look, I know that a C0 Chiori doesn't work super well with a Navia, but on this specific team, it's actually not that bad because we can use the thing and then immediately spam the E and I, I feel like everything I'm saying makes absolutely no sense unless you know exactly what I'm talking about, which most of you probably don't. Basically this though. Okay, Ningwang, put down construct equals Chiori gets two doll. Then we tap E once, we would tap again and... Oh, well, because Navi is dead. Okay, imagine if Navi was alive, Navi would be on the field right now. And then Navi would get to just spam her E because she also has the golden troop, which means you want to use that as soon as she gets on the field. So it might not be the most optimal way to use the character, but it does kind of work. Let's go. We finally had a run where no one died. That's progress. I'm going to farm this domain a number of times. I might even dip into the fragile resin reserves because we do have two characters that need this now. And I don't really want to have to wait like three days 
to farm it again. Let's see how many we can collect. The domain has been farmed as well as I did go ahead and farm the boss that she needs one more time, giving us three drops, luckily, which means we can go ahead and ascend her again. Then, because why not, let's level her up to level 70. And this is where she's probably gonna sit for just a little bit. Also, I gotta point out Navia is now our friend, which is nice because now we have a name card that matches the Geo color theme. And just a couple achievements for us to claim. But I'm curious to see how far we can bring her talents. Eventually, I'm gonna be completely honest, I am going to level up her normal attack even though it's really not ideal. But for the time being, we're just gonna focus on the skill and the burst. If I was really trying to min-max, I would only level up the skill, but I, I kinda wanna level everything. Now let's play a fun little game of will we run out of specter drops or the talent material? Well, the answer is Spectre drops. And you want to know, like, the uh, really cool and fun part about this? Both Chiori and Goro also need Spectre drops. Why do I feel like they keep making characters that are just exactly the same as what other characters needed? This is about to be Hilatrol Masks Part 2. Since we have 30 resin left over, we are going to fight the whale. Well, 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 we can finally beat it in one rotate. Well, like, not one rotation, but one, one, ro one rotation of the... The, the boss. Would you believe me if I told you that English was, in fact, my first language? Because honestly, I wouldn't believe myself. But would you look at the time? I do believe it is Spectre O'Clock, one of my least favorite times of the day. Again, going in co-op would be really nice for this. Although, since I do complain a lot when I don't like things, I must say that of the Spectres I've killed so far, a lot of them have actually dropped pretty good drops. Or at least, very much above average for Spectres. We we should now have enough of the specter drops to go ahead and level up her burst to level six as well. Is this smart? No. But since I am unable to ascend you again today, I am actually going to try to bring her normal attack up to level six if possible. I think we're going to end up being short by two of the things of light. Nope, we are short by three. I'm not going to lie. That really bothers me. So I'm going to go over and use another fragile resin. You know what I just remembered now that we are able to progress and i think complete the geo archon quest that means we're going to be able to unlock the recipe for condensed resin that is going to save me so much time oh that was from 20 resin but that little bit of farming allows us to max out all of Turi's talents for what we can do now and my ocd is satisfied you know what's bothering me though the fact that we have this artifact sitting right about here and i want to level it up so badly do i have anything oh oh i have just enough to get it to the next power up which is gonna be great rate okay i really want to power it up more but we have to wait because i literally don't have anything and i don't think using my fragile resin on artifacts right now is the smartest decision oh we do have enough for a wish which is a guaranteed four star honestly I think I'd prefer Goro. I mean, both C6 Goro and Yunjin are really nice, but I think the Goro might be better for this account. And we see... Pavonius Warbow. It's not a Goro, but it is the weapon I'm going to be using on Goro. And since that is our third... What is, wait, he's the only Geo Bow character, isn't he? Geo Bow. What do we got? Just Goro. Well, I can definitely at least refine this once. I might even refine it twice. And by might, I mean I'm going to refine it twice. I don't think energy is really going to be a big problem for us on this account because all we're using are Geo characters anyways. But it never hurts to have a little more energy. Now, I have a sneaking suspicion this video is already getting a little long because there is quite a lot that I want to include. So we will continue the Geo Archon quest and hopefully finish it in the next episode, as well as potentially bring home Arataki Ito. But what I would like to see right now is just a little like mini damage showcase. If I put up the construct, we get 20% additional crit damage thanks to uh, this passive. And now I'll just use E, teleport off field, and we'll see what these guys do, which is decent enough damage when they crit. They also have okay range like it's not insane but they're able to hit that guy the initial hit is well hmm that didn't crit the initial hit is 
13.2k. Now for the ruin guard test. I don't know why, but I always come back to this guy. So we're just going to come back again and see how the dolls do. It seems like it's going to be two doll setups to take out a ruin guard. So let's just use that again. And down he goes. Obviously, it's not like insane damage, but she's also not fully built. But I am happy enough with this so far. I hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to tune in next time where we potentially do get the Arataki Ito that we want. And with that being said, I will see all of you guys next time.